As the sun set Friday night, voters at the Leonard Recreation Center in Greensboro stood in line, socially distanced, eager to cast their vote. My mother's an immigrant, so I take this very to heart. Michelle Varell says she made voting a priority. Honestly, it was super simple, um, stress-free, probably the easiest experience I've actually had. Oriel Thornton was pleasantly surprised to find her experience straightforward after debating whether to even go inside. I had been putting it off had been putting it off. I was going to put it off again. If I <laughs> State Board of Elections Director Karen Brinson Bell says many took advantage of early voting and the numbers are encouraging. You have 4.2 million people who have already participated in the process, then that's just really reassuring that that they have faith in our democracy, that they are committed to voting. Since so many are voting early, she says it's likely your precinct may have a short line on election day. The trend continues. It's going to be the least used method of voting uh, in our state for this election. That means when polls close at 730 on November 3rd, a big portion of results from early and absentee voting will be already tabulated. Election day uh, polling place results are going to be really critical in terms of any close races that we have. She says the number one focus, the accuracy of the results. We'll be as quick as we can, but we want to make sure that what we put out is accurate. Early voting sites statewide officially close at 3 Saturday afternoon, and the lines could be long. Elections officials say that the final days of early voting tend to be the busiest.